Hey, what's up, guys? Ray Bar checking in. What I'm going to do today is I'm going to show you how to literally print money using your stock portfolio. This is the easiest way to make $100, if not more, per week with very little effort and almost no time researching. What I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to go over the what strategy I'm talking about, the pros and cons of this strategy, what I look for while setting up this strategy, and finally, I'm going to go through a live exercise where I show you actually setting up this strategy in your portfolio where I will execute a trade with you guys. The strategy I'm talking about is known as the covered call. By, nef by definition, a covered call is an option strategy in which the trader sells a call option while also owning the underlying stock. Just some basics to know right now is that each option contract, whether it's a put or a call, represents 100 shares of the underlying stock. In today's example, I'm going to use the stock ticker PLUG, plug power, to show you what I'm talking about. So if we scroll down, if you notice here on plug, I own 100 shares of that underlying stock. The reason why this is called a covered call is because you're covered while selling the options contract. And a call is, an, is basically what that is, is where you are selling a contract to somebody to buy your shares at a designated price. <clears throat> Now, there are naked call options, which means you don't own the underlying shares. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click here on Plug Power, and I'm going to scroll down to the stats that I have on this particular position. If you notice, I own 100 shares at an average cost of $9.50. Now, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go Trade, Trade Options, and what I like to do is I like to sell one-week options, but you can sell you know, two-week options, three-week options, one-month options, whatever your choice may be. Now, what I typically do is, is I like to look at the different strike prices, which is the prices you're going to notice on the left, $10, $9.50, $9. Now, the strike price is essentially what you're willing to sell your 100 shares at, right? So... Going back to what we talked about previously, my average cost on plug power is $9.50. So <clears throat> if I sell the $9.50 call right here, this is essentially a at the money call option. So there's in the money, at the money, and out of the money. And in the money contract essentially means that your call option will basically be pulled from you and at the money is basically right around what the share price is and an out of the money is going to be you know way up here somewhere to where it's like you know it's not going to be executable unless the stock price shoots up right <clears throat> so if you notice here going back to what we talked about earlier as well each share or each contract is represented by 100 shares so essentially what you would do is you would take this 44 cents and multiply that by 100 so if I were to sell this call option at the money, I would gain $44 in premium. And that's exactly what I'm going to do later on in this video. So basically with the covered call strategy, it's a easy way to utilize your long positions to maximize gains and also make weekly or monthly income. Now, what I'm going to do here is go into the pros and cons of this strategy so that way you guys can understand what best suits your investment portfolio, your strategy, and how you want to print money using the covered call strategy. So some of the pros is that there's very limited risk, right? You already own the 100 shares, and if you sell it at the money right here or out of the money, if the stock happens to shoot up, not only will you gain the difference from your cost basis to the strike price, in this example here, I would gain 50 I would gain $50 from a 950 average cost to a $10 sell, plus I would gain this $30 premium. Now, another, you know, 
Another pro of the covered call strategy is that you can rel- you can earn reliable income through the premiums that you were paid from the buyer of your call option. There are only a couple of cons that I see from this strategy, and that's one, it's fairly capital intensive because again, <clears throat> you must own 100 shares of the underlying stock. But, you know, for the most part, that's the whole purpose of the strategy, right? Is you, you already own 100 shares. So why not maximize the income you can gain from that long position, right? Another con that you can have here is that it limits your maximum upside, meaning you kind of cap your gains, right? Because in this example, Plug Power is trading at $9.18. If I sell this $10 call right here, essentially the maximum amount of money I can make is the difference between my cost basis and that $10 strike price. So I would make, again, $50 from selling my shares while also collecting this premium. So if you think the stock is going to shoot up in the next week or month or however long your contract period is, you don't want to sell the contract way down here because you're limiting your upside potential. But if a stock is trading range bound, in this example, plug power, then it's safe to sell it you know, right at the money, which is right here, or slightly out of the money, which is right here. So if I go back here and you look here, right, I'm going to look at a one month chart. If you notice, the stock is basically traded between $9.11 all the way to around $9.35. So to me, being that my average cost is $9.50, I will end up selling at the money at a $9.50 call. One more thing that I like to do before I go into setting up the trade itself with you guys is that I like to look at the stock and look for when they're going to report earnings. If you notice here, the expected earnings for Plug Power is on 519. I typically don't trade options on stocks going into their earnings because the stock tends to be more volatile, whether that's going to go up or down depending on whatever they report. Now that I've covered all the basics of the easiest way to make money in the stock market, the covered call option strategy, I will go into a trade with you guys right now. So what I do is I go back to my original portfolio. And then in this particular portfolio, I only have a couple of positions with that 100 share that 100 underlying shares that I own, which right now I have a covered call strategy open up with GROY. Now I'm going to do it with plug, right? So I'm going to click on my position. I'm going to understand what my average cost basis is, which is here is 950. I'm going to hit trade, trade options. Again, I like to do weekly options on some of the more volatile stocks because you can maximize your earnings potential when it comes to uh, the premium you're going to make. Knowing that my um, average cost for my 100 shares is 950, I would like I'm going to end up selling the at the money call option which is going to be 45. So here basically what it's going to do is there's a bid ask and the bid is typically what you will sell the options at. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure it's I'm going to sell one contract at 45 cents, which if you show it's a maximum credit or minimum credit, excuse me, of $45, right? The max loss shows up as unlimited. And the reason why it does that is because like I said, the max amount of money you can do is at your strike price. But because I'm getting paid that $45 premium, my 950 is the strike, but I made $45 in premium. So my actual price per share is going to be $9.95 when I end up or That's the max amount of profit I can end up making, right? So in a different strategy or in a different option chain, if I sold it at $10, then you would see this chart go further down the curve over here. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit review, swipe up. And now if you saw here, one contract sold for a $45 total credit, and I'm going to hit done. Go back. And now my portfolio just got... $45 $45 added to my buying power because I sold this option. Later on, what I'll end up doing is I will go into a more complex strategy of buying and selling calls, naked calls, as well as another option strategy known as the cash secured put. Once I have that video up and running, I will combine the two videos, having a covered call strategy 
combined with a secu cash secured put strategy to where you can run what I've been talking about over the last couple of weeks known as the wheel strategy. It, it's essentially like you're printing money. And again, guys, I appreciate all the support you have for me here. I hope that you enjoy the content. You're following along. I would be so, so, so appreciative if you smash that like button, comment, and definitely subscribe because there's only going to get better from here. You know, I'm still learning, but I hope that you guys are enjoying the content again and tune in every single week. Also, go ahead and head over to my shorts and check out all my videos as it relates to silver and gold. You know, I think it's a great way of wealth preservation, especially in shaky times right now with the banks collapsing in the regional space. Thanks, guys. Have a wonderful Monday and a successful day of trading.